Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're trying to do here is save the edit of this uh, product, right? So let's say we're just changing one thing. Um, of course, I'm not going to add any images here if I don't want to change an image. I'm just going to change what I want to change. So if I add an image, then we need to change the image. If I don't, then we don't need to change the image. So let's see how we can make sure we do that. So back to product edit controller. Uh, once we post something, we need to uh, we need to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the thing is, in the product class, it already knows what um, let's see models product. It already knows what columns are allowed, which is awesome. So what we need to do is we just need to remove those we don't want. Like for example, you may not want to change the date of this product because that date is the date of creation. If you wanted to, you can add two date columns and one is for when it was last edited. The other one is when it was created, but we don't have that. So let's just remove the date. We don't want to be updating the date of creation every time we edit. And the user ID of who created it first should not really change. So out. Now barcode here is equal to barcode or an auto generate barcode. This is fine. We can leave it there because we know it won't be empty. And then we have this issue of files, right? Now, uh, let's see, validation, and then uh, blah, 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 create a folder, and etc., etc., etc. Hmm, very cool. So the thing is, um, this whole thing assumes images are available, right? So, in an event where an image is not available, we should put an if statement. So, um, hmm. wait a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we would do is, let's just do, uh, this whole part here is for dealing with an image, uh, including this. So what I'll do is, let me just put if not empty, and let me put the post image. We just need that, that's good enough. And uh, let me move everything else here, like so. Okay, and I will move this down here. Uh -huh. So if not empty, post image will be equal to something. Now, if it is empty, post image will be empty and not exist at all, which is exactly what we want. So this solves all our problems, except during validation, an image is required. So this is going to present a problem. So let me go back and just refresh this page and just try to save and you will see that it tells me image must be valid jpeg etc mm -hmm. but we need to tell it that the image is optional when we are editing so how does it know that we are editing well we can provide two parameters to the validate and the second one can be a row id like so so remember that we have row which is the product that we are editing and we can supply its id there and once we do supply an id then it means we are in edit mode so this can also help if you're trying to see that there are no duplicates of uh, the products you're trying to edit you can use the id to search your database to see if you're not duplicating any dis uh, product descriptions before saving them so what I'll do is now go to the products uh, class here. Yeah. You see validate only takes in one parameter. 
but we can add a second one called ID and let's equal it to no like this so that we make it optional okay so because a value is already given by default it means even if let me go back here even if I do not supply an ID on validation it's okay which is exactly what we did in the uh, validation of creating a new pro uh, product we don't have this so even that will still work because we've made it optional here and what we're going to do here is write on the image check image right so we should only do this if ID is not empty so I'm just going to say if is numeric or we can just say if ID this should still work exactly the same let's do this I'll remove that and duplicate the last one and then move these guys inward so this only works if there is an ID now this is not exactly what it should do it should do the opposite so I'll say if not ID then actually check but if there's an ID you can ignore this now the thing is uh, there will be times when you actually add an image and it needs to be validated okay so in that case we need to check both so I'm going to say if ID and not empty like so if ID uh, wait a minute so the way things are supposed to work if not ID which means we are in uh, the other mode but if ID exists let's do this let's put an or and say or ID and not empty and then let's put this in brackets so we're putting this in brackets so that it's evaluated as one item right okay so there are two possibilities that will allow us to pass through here the first one is if the ID exists which means we're in edit mode and the image is not empty so let's pass through here and evaluate it or we can pass through here if ID is not uh, available which means we are in uh, adding new product mode so in this case if I try to save let me change the quantity to 101 and click save oops so line 65 unidentified token so 65 is here so it means I missed a bracket here or something so let me add one more bracket let's see oh is that the reason there's one two bracket same here so what's going on oh no I need three actually because there's one two three here okay great refresh resend so let's try that still giving me problems uh, actually let me go to the edit and right before because I don't want this to insert I'm going to do this just pause that for a second so let's open again and click save okay so it's still doing that and why is that so we're doing something wrong with our if statements so back again to the product thingy here and um, wow the rain is just really making a lot of noise on my roof okay so 
id let's see if not id so in this case we do have an id so it's going to pass through here and if not empty so if this is empty data image then it means um wait what i'll do is let me just copy this and right here i'm just going to say show what's inside there okay and let's do die so that it doesn't redirect at all and click save okay so it's there but it's empty so it means it does exist but there's no file and the error is number four which means file not found or something file did not upload so this is where we have a problem right so we should check for not empty name like this okay so what i'll do is go to the product edit itself and uh, right about here so if not empty files image wait a second name like that okay that should do so back here edit click save aha uh -huh. so things are supposed to work now so edit click edit click so it's not saving yet because we are supposed to just update so if we go to the product uh, no the model.php uh, we should have an update function which we don't have yet here so we need to create the update function not just the insert here so let's do that in the next video